for the over tonight. The nightmare. It's the nightmare. It was closing his eyes and fading so rapidly. This is life and death. You don't go away, preacher. Don't please stay with us. Everything changed that day. My name is Preacher Colon. I'm 20 years old. I'm a pro boxer out of Orocovis, Puerto Rico. I want to be world champion. I'm sure I will be world champion. I dedicated my life to this. I, I sacrificed everything I had, and I'm sure I'm going to be world champion. Richard Colon turned pro when he was 20 years old. His charisma and skills showed a star in the making. In less than three years, Colon fought and won 16 times, 13 by knockout. Boy, oh boy, the punches flying in Brooklyn tonight. A series of big right hands from Richard Colon. Then, October 17, 2015, Fairfax, Virginia. A nationally televised 10-round welterweight match with undefeated Terrell Williams. Colon's third bout in less than three months. Ladies and gentlemen, Thomas y Caballeros, Richard Diggin Colon. In the first few rounds, the 31-year-old Williams seemed to hit Colon with a number of rabbit punches, illegal blows to the back of the head. Williams came back with that uh, right, but to the back of the head, as Colon indicated to the referee Joe Cooper. In the fifth round, Colon appeared to be ahead in the fight when Williams struck him with two solid. And then... Oh, the shot from Colon may have been, yeah, it was a low blow. He was frustrated, you know, by getting hit so many times behind the head and the referee was not doing his job. Referee Joe Cooper deemed Colon's low blow intentional and deducted two points. Williams taunted who continued complaining about the rabbit punches. Give me, give me, Jim. Listen to me. You stop getting back here. You stop here. Look, I'm going to disqualify both of y'all. You understand? Williams was on a roll in the seventh. Then he hit Colon behind the head again and sent him to the campus. Come on, get up. Cooper penalized Williams one point for the illegal blow. Yeah, a few minutes. Come here, come here, come here. Ringside doctor Richard Ashby examined Colon and concluded he could continue the fight. I just talked to Dr. Richard Ashby. He told me that Cologne said he was dizzy and was hurting in the back of his head, but he felt he could go on. The doctor concurs. He says he's just waiting for him to shake it off and resume action. In the ninth, Williams knocked Cologne down twice. After the round, Cologne's cornermen unlaced his gloves. They said they thought the bout had just ended. Cologne was disqualified. He's walking towards the locker room, one hand around his mother. His legs are becoming really shaky, and which I thought was was odd. I, I, didn't, I couldn't understand it. I asked him in Spanish, Papi, como tu esta? And he answered in English, Mami, and this I cannot see. Then in the locker room, Mom tried to put him, uh, sit him down in the chair that was there, and he started uh, sliding down, started vomiting. I remember him collapsing in his own throw up, and then um, that's at that point he was trying to hold on to consciousness. Daddy say, please, Richard, don't go, don't go. Unconscious, Cologne was rushed by ambulance to the hospital. Emergency surgery removed a large brain hemorrhage, relieving pressure on the skull, but the damage was irreversible. It's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. Everything changed that day, that night. It was awful. Oh. Cologne was left in what doctors call a vegetative state, unaware and unresponsive. The doctor don't give us hope. They say that the, the 
it's got a mark, you know, and the CT scan shows like a black spot that is too large for him to recuperate. Colon, now 24, breathes on his own. That is the extent of his independence. I cannot leave my son alone because when he coughs, I need to suction him also. So because he cannot swallow, he's a, a feeding too. I tried to speak with him. I tried to talk to him. I take him outside. He likes this, right? Le gusta. I read the Bible, I read newspapers. I see pictures of everything around the room and I look at him and it's, his resemblance isn't the same. Sometimes I look at him and it's just like, that was really my brother. I think it's still with that shock of, that's not my brother. I, I don't accept it. Faced with providing decades of medical care, the family wages an ongoing battle against exhaustion and despair. Every time I go to the room, I expect it like a preacher say, Mom. I expect it that word. It's preacher say, Mom. For me, it's like it's coming the recovery. I do believe in miracles. I do believe in miracles. I respect everybody that does. I want to say I do. But it's been a year. Is he ever going to get out? Sí, sí, dile te amo. Hay una viejita ahí, hay una viejita ahí, así, como lo es así, en la nariz, así. Ok, ahora una guiñadita sola, una guiñadita ahí, sí, ok. Ahora vamos a abrir los ojos, grande, 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 chiquito, 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 chiquito. Ahora ríete otra vez, ríete otra vez, ríete papi. No, ríete, chis, chis pailín. Pri, saca la lengua, a vértela. Completa, completa. Ah, ah, ah. <risa> Sácale la lengua a Eileen. Dile, te amo. Ah. Mira, para que Eileen vea que tú mueves la cabeza ahora. Ven para acá. Pri, mueve la cabeza. Sí, pero mete la lengua. Mete la lengua ya. Mete la lengua. Ya verla. Ok. Ahora vamos a mover la cabeza para acá. Ahora para acá, para acá, para acá. Mueve la cabeza para acá, así. ¿Viste? Que la mueves para los dos lados. Dile ahí, te amo con los ojos. Te amo. Okay. Te amo, muy bien. Te amo. Pri, cierra los ojos, Pri. Vamos a cerrar los ojos dos veces. Vamos a cerrarlo tres veces. Para cuatro. Cuatro, dije. Ok. Ahora cinco. Muy bien. Ese nene pibita de contar. ¡Eh! Grande, 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 grande. Chiquito, 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 chiquito. Ay, es que me lo como. Ali, te amamos mucho y te queremos mucho. Y Pritchard está mejorando. Grandemente. ¿Verdad, Pri? ¿Que tú estás mejorando? Dile así, así con la cabeza, así. Mueve la cabeza para acá. Mueve la, Pri. Pri, mira el teléfono. Así. Muela, 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 muela. Muela, muela. Muela, muela, muela. ¿Sí? Este que bello está. ¿Verdad, mi amor? Dile que la amamos mucho. Dile a Aileen, Aileen. Es la fan número uno tuya. ¿Tú te acuerdas de Aileen? ¿Tú te acuerdas de Aileen? ¿Te acuerdas de Aileen? No, no te acuerdas. No te acuerdas de Aileen. Sí, tú te acuerdas de ella. La que iba a todas tus peleas. No te acuerdas, o sí te acuerdas. Con los ojos, una vez sí es sí. ¿Te acuerdas de Aileen? Sí. Sí. No. No sé si está diciendo sí o no. No, o oh, sí. <ríe> Tira una guiñadita a Aileen. Yo ahorita te voy a enseñar una foto de Aileen otra vez. Tira una guiñadita a Aileen. Una guiñadita con este ojo para Aileen. Dale así. Sí. Dale una. Ay, una Aileen. Para Aileen. Ahí te voy a enseñar la foto. Te amamos, Aileen. Aquí está Prichard. Te amamos. Dile te amo, Aileen. 
te amo con los ojos. Te amo. No, los dos ojitos sí, te amo. Ok. Buscando. You're doing good, papi. Good job, preacher. Can you head off, papi? Can you head off, papi? Can you head off, preacher? Ya, no puede girar el bola. Echala para el frente, echala para el frente. Pichal, echala la cabeza para el frente, por favor. Por favor, Pichal. Pichal, la cabeza para el frente. Fuerza. Fuerza. Fuerza, Pichal. Cabeza para el frente. Dale, Pichal. Dale, papá. Dale, Pichal. Vamos, campeón. It's dig it time, baby. It's dig it time. It's dig it time, baby. Team Colón, baby. Team Colón. Vamos allá. Fuerte, Prichel. Vamos, trata, 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 trata más fuerte. Trata, papi. Yo sé que estás buscando. Yo sé que estás buscando, papi. Vamos allá. Vamos allá, Prichel. Team Colón. Team Colón. Go, 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 Prichel. Go, Prichel. Go, Prichel. Dale, papá. Dale, papá. Dale. Fuerza, fuerza, fuerza. Síguelo, síguelo, síguelo. Síguelo, síguelo, no te me quite, no te me quite, papi, no te me quite, para frente, para frente, síguelo, 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 papi, no te, no te me quite, no te me quite, no te me quite, no, 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 Prichel, usted, no se, usted nunca se quita, usted nunca se quita, vamos allá, ¿cuándo usted se ha quitado? ¿Cuándo usted se ha quitado? Usted no se quita, Prichel, Prichel, con los melendes, usted no se quita, vamos allá, papi, vamos fuerte, súbelo, súbelo, sube otra vez, vamos allá. Vamos allá, derecha, eso, síguelo, 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 termínalo, eso. We really don't know how we got here. None of it seems to make any sense. This is a reality that I just can never get adjusted to. But this is the reality I have to face. One year and three months you have been in a coma. I try to go back and trace our steps to see what went wrong but I always end up more lost than when I first started. The only thing I could really sum up is that somebody up there must have made a big mistake because this wasn't the way it was supposed to be. It was three years ago I flew to your hometown to work on our first video together. I arrived as the video guy. I left as your friend and now I'm here as your brother. To do this video, I have to travel to where your heart is to find the inspiration I need and hopefully I can find just a moment of clarity. So I know you've been wondering what's all been going on since you've been resting. Well, I can tell you this. The support is real. The tears are real. The love is real. And it has come from so many different places. Many have gathered with their hearts filled with hope to honor your name while begging God for his mercy on your behalf. Team Monroe, Willie Monroe, we uh, definitely support uh, Pritchard Cologne, Mundo Boxing. As, as y'all can see, if y'all follow me on social media, you know, I was always sending prayers and, you know, for Pritchard Cologne, you know, 
I could never imagine being in that moment. Uh, the world is uh, a, a united front praying for his recovery, and we truly uh, hope that he will be coming out of this battle as a winner. Months pass, depression grows. I'm so lost on this road that I'm on. We recently celebrated your 24th birthday. Although there was so much love in the air, it obviously wasn't the type of birthday celebration we wanted to have for you. Through the victories, we stood by your side. And through times like this, we stand by your side with a greater conviction than ever. I believe with all my heart that when the time is right, you will rise. Until then, I will walk your footsteps. I will make sure to always show love like you always do. And I will never forget to smile, just like you never forget to. I have to be honest, since October 17th of 2015, my faith hasn't been the same. I have questions, like why do life-changing tragedies happen to undeserving people every single day? Does prayer really work? If so, then why didn't those key moments you spent with God before the fight give you the protection you needed? I might not ever find my answers, but today, for you and your family, I will pray, because it's all I have left to give. I pray this in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yeah, I mean, I wanted to create a story, just really something, just to let them know, uh, obviously to let it lie off my chest that I had to get out, but to let the family know, the mother and the father, that you know, their son. <clears throat> His legacy will never go anywhere. Um, he means everything to me. And, and, and I wanted to remind them of that. And this was a short video to do that. You will let it, this here is your biggest fight I gotta keep it together, know your family going through it We gotta get through the weather, fighting in and out the ring I know you're gonna get better I just wanna hear your voice and your family need you urgently Went into a coma right after you had the surgery Looking back at the fight, the punches he did it purposely Can't even focus on life, this here is really hurting me So you're gonna wake up, we gotta give him time Let the Lord do his magic, everything will be just fine Told the rough about the hits, I guess he must have been blind It's waiting heavy on me, I got you stuck in my mind 
And it's so it's gonna be Mix that with the finest to the low come for me I swear boxing you should be fun to me Trying to get this last line and it won't even come to me My brother, you gotta get up. We all feeling down, we trying to keep our heads up. But that's easier said than done. Rapping and praying at the same time, like Reverend Run. Like, God, please watch over Pritchard and work your magic on him. You the almighty wizard. Boxing is cool, but this gonna be the fight of his life. And I'll be right there cheering for him like that night at the fight. When we first met and showed each other nothing but love. Had a blast, shared a few laughs while fist pumping his glove. Introduced me to his fam and I was new to this man. That's why you the truth out the ring and the truth with your hands. You always get my respect, love, and admiration. Cause you were part of my inspiration and motivation. The Lord works miracles. Cool, so just give it time, cause till you get up and after that, it's still digging time. You forever. can't let nobody stand in your way, you just gotta get back up, yeah, you just gotta get back up, oh, and take down everything that you cannot change now, you just gotta get back up, yeah, you just gotta get back up, oh. All the people who have followed my career from day one. The new fans that I have today, the support, the messages I've received, uh, it keeps inspiring me to keep working hard. And I'm just thankful. I just want to thank the men upstairs because without none of this would be possible. I want to thank my family, my friends came out to support me, as like always. I want to thank my team, especially uh, Pedro, my father, and my brother for being there in the training camp every day. We had a great training camp. I want to thank Al Heyman, Brad, the whole team for always putting me in the best situation. Tomorrow's going to be a great night. Tomorrow's going to be a great fight. I want to wish all the fighters a, a great fight. And uh, it's digging time, baby. Let's get this, let's get this going.